What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, after I did the Chill Kill music video and the Red Velvet Killing Voice, I really wanted to check out the rest of the album based on what I had heard. Uh, so let's get into it. that um i mean i realized this in the killing voice that they're so good at layering their voices and having one person say something and then someone else either say something at the same time or wait until that phrase is done and then they like chime in with something to punctuate it um and the way that this, this has kind of like an epic sort of tone to it uh and they're doing so much in this song but it's all working together really really well uh this song is really really cool i enjoy this a lot <laughs> God damn. I don't know if that's part of it. Uh, that was really good. Um, like I said, I really like the way that uh, it had kind of an epic sound. It had a good bass line. Um, they had those vocals that run ran through the entire thing where they were layering and uh, punctuating and accentuating what they were saying. Um, had some of that background stuff that I like from Red Velvet so far. Uh, definitely, definitely really like that. Um, I would blast knock knock until the neighbors call and the police knock knock on my door to tell me to stop because that was fucking cool. That's going on a playlist for sure. Uh, next up is Underwater. Let's see. Yeah. 
Who produces their beats? Who makes these? way that their vocals are are riding this beat is just perfect <laughs> These are, this is, this is R&B. This is beautiful. I also do want to say that I was really impressed with uh, Irene, Sulgi, and Wendy in the killing voice, but in this song specifically, I think Joy and Yeri, I don't know if it's like a rolling the R, but Joy and Yeri, uh, the way that they are ending certain notes of their lines, very like delicate and very light, is just exactly what you need to do on a beat like this that's hard and slow. Uh, just to have that sort of dichotomy that I think Red Velvet is really, really good at, just having two sides to the coin uh, in a way that I haven't heard from a lot of other groups. That song should be 20 minutes. All right, so that's just a thing that this channel does, I guess. Uh, that was amazing. Um, so far, well, between Chill Kill that I heard separately, you could check out that reaction, and then Knock Knock and Underwater. I mean, this is 
This is amazing. Let's see, this one's the next. Will I ever see you again? That's what I was hoping for. That when you have a song like this, where maybe the chorus or the um, or the hook isn't doesn't have the most lyrics, uh, it's just a phrase. That it's fine. You have that. It's almost like um, it's almost like the verses become the focus. But then on the on the third or so go through of it, you have a change up. So this one, they make it a little more epic, a little louder. They have a background run happening to sort of accentuate it, to set it apart. Um, this one's also, this is just good song composition. And again, their producer or team of producers, whoever makes their beats, uh, the, the sounds are just on point. Will I ever see you again? said it once, I said it twice, I'll say it 50 times. They are the queens of layering and having their voices just come in at different points at the perfect points and matching not the voices, their voices sound different, but matching the the tone that's required to just really like punch that point home. And the way that they're doing that is so unique. Um, I guess you can only be unique or not unique, but just absolutely love it. So that's Will I Ever See You Again. Next is Nightmare. Oh. That's all they needed. She could just say, oh, like that. Just do that for 
three and a half minutes. Oh. <laughs> Baby, bye bye. Yo, they're so dramatic. It's beautiful. <laughs> also, Silgi has amazing voice control. I know Wendy's the one that, that seems to be the one that'll, like, you know, belt and just do something that, like, blows your hair back a little bit. But Silgi shows a lot of really impressive voice control to me where she she does, you know, the higher stuff and then she'll go low and she'll kind of, like, fluctuate as she needs to to just make it sound as good as possible. Um... I'm, I'm impressed with Joy and Yuri also in all these songs because the way that they also show some control, especially it seems at the end of lines, uh, is is also really interesting. But something about the way that Sulgi controls her voice is very impressive to me. <laughs> Baby, bye bye. I love that. I was at the end. It's a weird ten style. <sighs> Again, just another song that's just like perfectly composed. The way that they all do their parts and the way that they layer and the production of the actual song that was fantastic. And I don't know. I, I don't know if that was Wendy or Sulgi who was doing a little bit of a run there during that kind of like epic build up at the end, but. I mean, this album is amazing. <laughs> Next up is Ice Coffee.
Also, it's a lot for them to just constantly be looking at me, uh, even though the pictures change. I feel like they're looking at my soul. Every morning, I come up to hold in the sun. Dark and charm and yachty, moon, moon, again. Like an eye, good. Come on, hit the Talking about iced coffee. In your eyes, in your eyes. Yeah, you got me like iced coffee. I don't need the sugar, don't need the caffeine. We sing again, I'm eating. I'm eating. What I really like about the way they're delivering this is that this sounds like it would be uh, really difficult to do live. And I don't mean difficult for them. I mean, it for generally, it requires a lot of skill to be able to do a lot of breath control because there's a lot of like maintaining a note and kind of like a da 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 da, da and then drawing out the end. And I mean, vocal masterpiece. So, you know, can't be surprised at this point, I guess, but. Figured I'd say it. Cause you make me feel all this fantasy from the one in the eyes popping. Falling in your eyes, falling in your eyes. Yeah, you got me like eyes popping. Got me up the night, got me up the night. Yeah, you got me like eyes popping. Every day, two milky, bitching on in your eyes. See that the way that that was Joy just did that. Just listen to the way that it's da 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 da. It's just like continuing without any kind of faltering, without any kind of pause. Not even clear, she's breathing. Yo, I just, <laughs> this is crazy. I love this. Lost my mouse. I'm all flustered. I don't even know what's going on. I'm talking about iced coffee. <sighs> One kiss. Oh, okay. Now you're going to get me. All right. One kiss. Turn on down and order how you bought and cry. My kiss. I'm the catching of the time on every meal. I said intention. Come the 
fuck on, people. What are we doing here? Look at this. Look at this lineup of people looking at me. I'm so nervous. What? <laughs> Yo, the production again. Fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. One kiss. Tell them about another how you about in trade. lose me at this point.
fighting it, but I'm just, I can't. This is insane. <laughs> this is like the third, maybe the third or the fourth song on this album where they just build up to a point where the last like 30 to 25 to 30% of the song is just epic, just hitting me with all kinds of sounds that I can't fucking process. <laughs> There's nothing to say um, at this point. I think I played that song like three times, so I'm just gonna move on to Bulldozer. I feel like I got hit by a bulldozer. These ladies know how to bring that like old school flavor and style without sounding like it's old. I don't really know how else to explain it. It's it's very much what got me into K-pop in the beginning was stuff that reminds me of like what I consider a better time in music um, without sounding like you're just copying that better time, but that you're influenced by it, you're adapting it, you're bringing it into the current modern era and adding your own spin or keeping it fresh somehow uh they're just That one had a lot of attitude. I like that a lot. They're, they were talking their shit there. You know I like that if you watch my other videos. All right. Wings. Ooh. 
Look at them. More of that l bringing them in to to basically well, finish each other's lines here, but that that just really adds a punch to whatever they're saying in that moment to make like a little series of mini duets within a song with five people. I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> Yes, yes. See, this is what I'm talking about. Bringing me back to music that I used to hear. So that was a different tone than some of the other ones. This was, was a little more of like an inspirational kind of message, which um, I thought was really great. And the way that they did it again, just a series of duets throughout the song that just each one could stand on its own as a good pairing. But obviously they can mix and match and do whatever they want. And we're going to like it. Um, last one is Scenery. 
Was beautiful i didn't want to pause that one like i do with the other ones i just wanted to let that one go um so that is it um that was amazing <laughs> i'm really glad that i listened through that um i was thinking of trying to rank them i don't know if i would be able to do that but um i could definitely say that uh knock knock and underwater uh, we're definitely, you know, kind of that a little bit more in your face a little bit kind of went hard a little bit um, Will I ever see you again in nightmare iced coffee? Those were all um, Really really good too. They were maybe a little more uh, like up tempo a little less hard-hitting and a little more um, Just beautiful. I guess you could say um, one kiss. I kind of lost my mind a little bit there I think I was just overwhelmed after hearing everything else <laughs> <laughs> and also, I really like that one a lot. Um, Bulldozer was super cool because they talked a lot of shit. It was short, but 
tons of attitude. If you watch my other videos, you know I love it when the groups do that kind of stuff. Uh, and then Wings I liked because it was a little different from the rest of them. It was a little more inspirational. It was a little more uh, kind of like pump you up, make you feel good. Uh, but then they also did really, really great things with their vocals and with the what I was calling mini duets within the song. And then this last one, Scenery, this one made me feel something. Um, this one was just was just beautiful. Uh, it was just nice to hear. Um, I, I liked the lyrics too. It was very poetic. Uh, it, had a, it had a message um, like knock knock underwater those ones were a little bit more kind of want to like get me hyped a little bit and scenery was one that makes you kind of want to think a little bit more and like reflect so kind of covered the whole spectrum we had the hype songs we had the beautiful songs we had um the songs that make you want to just dance uh the songs that you just want to vibe to uh and then songs that make me just blown away by the vocals and by the layering and the mastery and the professionalism that they bring um let me know in the comments i'll probably have to think about it maybe i can follow up with a comment where i'll try to rank them i just don't know if i can because a lot of them are so different and if you're in a different mood you'll want them but i'll try uh, but let me know in the comments what your ranking is or maybe just your favorite song off of it or um you know if there's a message to a song that i missed that you want to talk about definitely let me know um i love this this is definitely like a no skip album i think even though i would probably say that for my general like playlist listening purposes, Scenery and Wings might not be what I would listen to the most often just because Scenery kind of makes me feel a little sad. <laughs> uh, and I like more of like the the knock knock underwater one kiss. Um, will I ever nightmare like those I think I'd be more likely to listen to and add to a playlist while I'm like working or driving or something like that but let me know what you think um this is definitely an album that I'm just gonna listen to uh start to finish multiple times uh like comment and subscribe and until next time stay fresh